you pick three digits from the digits zero through nine at random without replacement and write them down in the order picked. What is the probability that you have written the first three digits of your phone number? Assume there are no repeats of digits in your phone number and we're also asked to give the answer as a fraction. To find the probability of an event, we take the favorable number of outcomes and divide by the total number of outcomes. So to find the probability of this event, let's begin by determining the total number of outcomes, which would be the total number of ways that we can pick three digits from the digits zero through nine at random without replacement when the order matters. And there's a couple ways of doing this. We can use the counting principle or we could also use a permutation, again because there's no repetition and the order matters. We could not use a combination because a combination means the order does not matter. Let's begin by considering the counting principle. To do this, we consider selecting the three digits as three separate independent events. So let's model this using three horizontal bars. We'll call the first event D sub one for selecting the first digit, followed by D sub two and then D sub three. So using the counting principle, we determine the number of ways each of these three events can occur and then the product would tell us how many ways the sequence of events can occur. So to select the first digit, since there are ten digits to select from, there are ten ways of selecting the first digit. Now for the second digit, again, there's no replacement and therefore now there's only nine digits to pick from or select from, so there's only nine ways to select the second digit, followed by only eight ways to select the third digit because two digits have already been used. Well, 10 times nine times eight equals 720, which is a total number of ways or total number of outcomes for selecting three digits from 10 digits at random without replacement when the order matters. So our denominator is 720. And as I mentioned earlier, we could also find the total number of outcomes using a permutation. Because we have 10 digits from zero through nine and we're selecting three, without replacement and the order matters, we could find 10 permute three to find the total number of outcomes. Notice here n equals 10, r equals three, so we'd have 10 factorial divided by 10 minus three factorial, which would be seven factorial. Simplifying, we begin by expanding 10 factorial, which is 10 times nine times eight, and I would stop here because notice how we have a seven factorial in the denominator. So we'll write times seven factorial divided by seven factorial. Again, notice how our numerator is 10 factorial. We just didn't expand it all the way. We stopped at seven factorial because that matched the denominator. So this simplifies to one. Notice how we get the same result. 10 times nine times eight does equal 720. And now for the numerator, we want to determine the favorable number of outcomes, which means how many of these permutations of these three digits would match your phone number, and only one of them would match. So the probability of this event is one divided by 720, which is what our homework is asking for, but because probability is often expressed as a decimal or a percentage, let's also show those. To convert the fraction to a decimal, we would perform division, one divided by 720. And this is why giving a fraction is better. We're gonna have to round here. Let's go ahead and round to four decimal places and say this is approximately point zero zero one four. So zero point zero zero one four would be the decimal approximation for our probability. To convert to a percentage, we would multiply by 100 and add a percent sign, which would be 0.14%. But again, in our homework, we're only gonna enter the exact probability, which should be the fraction. I hope you found this helpful.